All right, before we get started, if you guys need anything for your studio, make sure you guys go ahead and click myzounds.com link in the description and get you something for your studio. They have a whole bunch of stuff on the site that requires no credit or background check, meaning all you have to do is order it, they'll ship it to you, and then you just make monthly installments on the equipment. All they just need is a credit or debit card hooked to the account so they can take the money out monthly. Now, it's not everything on the site, but it is a whole bunch of stuff on the site that you guys can go ahead and get right now with no credit or background check. So go ahead and click that zounds.com link in the video description and get you some gear today. All right, you guys know how much I rock with analog cases because they make the best cases that will protect your musical gear. However, did you guys know that they make very dope stands as well? You need to check out the XTS stands. These things are crazy. They come in two different sizes and these things are made of premium steel. If you're someone like me who uses their MPC Live 2 or if you use like a Machine Plus or a Machine or like a SP404 or even like an iPad or smaller DJ gear, these stands are made for professional musicians just like you. And the good thing about it is you don't have to break the bank to get the stands. They're very inexpensive. So if you're a musician that is looking to get a professional grade stand, make sure you guys go ahead and click Click my analog cases link in the description and get you a stand today. Boom. So we back at it again. Got somebody in here very, very, very special. <laughs> my boy is in here. Finally made it in here. Had to put the phone call in. Let them know who it is, man. Man, it's your boy King Music, man. Wanna cook up? You already know what time it is. Now, now look, we just had a conversation, right? And we were talking about, you know, the MPs, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, you guys see, he brought something very special in here today. And the floppy disk. And the, and the floppy yeah, disk. floppy disk. He got the floppy disk, so it's, it's legit. And he's got it hooked up to ah, the MPC Key 61. So, yes, you can hook up MPCs together. Oh, that's the best one. That's, that, that one hit the hardest, man. Okay. That's a fact. I'm that's a fact. a fact. I guarantee it. Stand by. It sound good, though. I ain't gonna lie. It's got, it's, it's got to sound real crispy already over here. But how long you been producing for Man, since I was probably like 11, I'm finna be 31 in July, so I guess 20 years. It made me a little old. Man, damn. So you started when I was like 21. Yeah, nah, I, I, cause I stopped playing sports and shit. Like when I was like little at the hill, I just went in the house and I was like, I want to be the next Quincy Jones. Now y'all see him a lot making the, the, the videos, his cook up videos and everything like that. And you're going to make another one soon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get back on it. <laughs> I'm going to get back on it. You gonna get, he gonna get back on it, but you know, he always is doing a lot of good stuff on the hardware units because you know, we're hardware guys over here. No FL this time. I know it ain't gonna take that long because all the hardware people we know we, what we can do. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't clicking in no notes now. No, no offense to all my note clickers. Oh, we finna play today. We finna exercise these fingers like this. We finna play today and he finna do his thing, man. So let's go ahead and get to it, man. Drums. Dead, deadly.
See, that's that's the power of you know having the tools at hand. Cause you just, first of all, you show people that you can link up. Oh yeah, yeah. Just it's just MIDI. I mean, cause it's just a sync. So this the master, this the slave, because this is like when the play and stop is from here or what have you. And I'm just basically using the 61 as a soundboard. Cause my drums, my little samples, my hits, they in there. You just link them together with the MIDI chord. You hit play. But the clock's gonna start moving. But you gotta make sure though you got like audio outputs because they can't record like into each other. So you need a mixer or like something that got several outputs where you can hear both devices. And then what I do is when I make a track, like on the new MPs, you know, you can like hit export. Yeah. I don't do that. I get another MIDI cable where I got like either Pro Tools or Reason or whatever I'm dumping it in and I'm gonna actually dump the audio. Because yeah. I like hearing like that little hiss noise on my hi-hats and all that type of stuff. Because like, you know, the Waze plugins, like they do that. They can add that artificial color, but it's not going to be the realness of the thickness. Like you want to capture like that. Oh. Like you want to capture all that, all that noise and to get that fullness from them kicks and shit like that. Like you got to, you got to dump it in there. And it's going to take, it probably take like, it don't take that long. It take like 10 extra minutes. Yeah. Oh, well, hey, man, that's that's crazy, man. Yeah, that's crazy. I can't wait for me here to finish thing, man. Oh yeah, no, it's gonna be snappy. I mean, you know, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and uh, put that thing on there. But go ahead, go ahead and press play on that thing one more time, <laughs> man. I got you, bro.